We begin tonight with the newly released video involving a Lucia Mar Unified School District bus driver accused of molesting a nine year old girl. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola attended a press conference earlier today held by the lawyers of the victim's family. She now joins us live from the school district. Alexa. This lawsuit was filed just days ago against the school district as well as the Office of Education. Today, lawyers released a timeline of the alleged abuse plus bus surveillance footage, and we want to warn you it may be disturbing to some viewers. This is newly released bus surveillance footage from April 7, 2017, edited by lawyers. In the driver's seat is David Lamb. On the seat close by is the alleged victim, a nine-year-old girl with special needs. Lawyers say he asked the girl to get into the seat behind him. There's no doubt in your mind what he's doing to this girl. Um, he thinks he's off camera. He's not. This is a portion of the video recovered by the sheriff's office that lawyers say ultimately led to Lamb's arrest. The entire tape is about 10 minutes and six minutes of it is him kneeling down or bending down at this seat where this girl is, is in a prone position. In a press conference on Tuesday, lawyers hired by the girl's guardians argued the alleged molestation had been going on for more than four months beginning in January of 2017. The victim was the only one on the bus with Lamb to and from school. Lawyers say GPS later recovered by the sheriff's office revealed he made various suspicious stops along the route. Days after this April 7th surveillance footage, lawyers claim the school district was notified by the child's guardians that Lamb showed her, quote, nasty videos on his phone and that he, quote, touched her. They say the district promised to review the tapes. And the school reassured them, we looked at the videos, there's nothing there. Lawyers say the district pulled Lamb from the route, but he was reportedly back on it about two weeks later. They never checked the surveillance video. If they had, they would have seen disturbing video surveillance of this bus driver and they would have realized the crime was being committed. Certainly the family wants to th see things change. They want to make sure bus buses are actually being, you can see the full scope of the bus. They like the data, the video preserved. And the lawsuit also claims that Lamb was convicted of peeping prior to being hired by the district. Now, late this afternoon, the school district sent us a statement saying, quote, since we first became aware of the char charges of child sexual abuse by this driver, we have cooperated very closely with the family and law enforcement. Student safety is a high priority in our district, and we are deeply concerned about the potential impact of these actions on the child. For now, live and local in Arroyo Grande, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. All right, Alexa, thank you. The San Luis Obispo County Office of Education also issued a response this afternoon, saying in part, any complaints, questions, or concerns regarding student safety are taken seriously by all employees. This office fully cooperates with law enforcement regarding complaints of any kind. And you can find that full statement at KSBY.com.